I'm creating this video to share my initial impressions with the Grails framework and the IntelliJ IDEA IDE. So Grails is a framework that makes it easy to create web pages and REST APIs. And one of the cool things about it is it supports the traditional MPC style architecture where we have our models, our views, and our controllers. So one of the things that I wanted to do was simply return a model object as JSON. So I created this simple class that has a simple property called string or called status, which is a string. And uh, I have my LED controller and here's my action. So when, so what this, so web requests will come into here. I will create my LED object and return it out, out this controller and the framework uh, is supposed to serialize this class into a nice JSON object. What I got in return was this. Um, so I get this JSON response that has this extra class, has this extra information, has this ID, and here we go, here we have our status and our on data. So I wasn't expecting to receive all of this stuff here. So I asked my colleague about it, and he suggested that, uh, that I add this directive above the model class to exclude that information. However, this doesn't work for whatever reason. I don't know why. So he suggested that I should just do this in the meantime while we figure out why that doesn't work. So this is a render method, which is very similar to the response.write method in .NET. And so the render method takes an argument here that says content type. We say text JSON. Here's our text. Here's our JSON. And this works correctly. This returns uh, a nice JSON response from the API. So I wanted to learn more about the render method and, um, and what I can pass into it and what it does and, and whatever. So if I type in render and if I wait, a list will come up. So we have this list of things, but it really doesn't help me understand what to pass into the render method. I can pass in a string, I can pass in an object, I can pass in a map of parameters, I guess, some other stuff. It doesn't really help me with much. So he suggested type parentheses. So, okay, so I get, I get that. Okay, I get a string, I see an object, a closure. But this really doesn't help me understand the render method at all. It doesn't help anybody. So maybe this light bulb here will help me. Introduce local variable. Okay, so let me click on that. Well, that looks like something that I don't want. So, well, here it is again. Nope, I don't want that. So maybe if I start typing in here, okay, if I start typing, stuff happens. But I'm not sure this is the correct stuff. Context path is not content type. So what if I type content type in here? Anything? No. I, well, I get, I get that. Not sure what that's really doing. Maybe if I type that tab, we can return no. So maybe if I, so maybe, maybe if I hit tab here, return, no. So there's no sense of autocomplete or IntelliSense, whatever you want to call it. There's, there's nothing here but just confusion. To be honest, it's like, why am I seeing this stuff? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why? Controller name. Can I pass in a controller name? Oh, and I get, I get that. It's confusing. So he suggests, so I asked uh, my colleague, how did you know what to type into here? And he, he basically said, just look it up on the internet. So, okay, so I look it up on the internet. And here's our, here's our render method. And we have some examples and a description. And 
the description is kind of funny. Uh, a multi-purpose method for rendering responses to the client, which is best illustrated with a few examples. Warning: This method does not always produce, does not always support multiple parameters. For example, if you specify both collection and model, the model parameter will be ignored. That's kind of important. So here are the things that I can pass into the render method. Here's our model. There's our collection. But if we path, pass both of these in, one of these, the model will get ignored. I wonder if, if that applies to any, any other parameters. I'm not sure. So I find this framework to be really hard to use, really hard to learn. And to be honest, I just find it painfully stupid. I can't recommend this to anybody.